Hello, this is the DG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Let's finish our business in Jabu Jabu's belly. Last time, we took care of all the tentacles, and now we need to rendezvous with Princess Ruto. If you left her behind, as I did, she will respawn in the same place right down here. But uh, before taking her along for the ride, let me just take out these enemies so they don't get in my way. And, well, I don't need to use Princess Ruto to do anything, but I do need her along to get through the next sequence trigger in the room to the east. There is the room to the southeast there that I haven't been to yet, but I'm going to take care of that on the return trip to this dungeon to kill the gold sculptula in there. I suppose I could show off the room, but it's a very annoying room to get out of, partially because some of the enemies in that room are invisible. Well, I thought I was the only one who was supposed to have an item get jingle. But all right. What, were you feeding him cows? How did you even get cows up here? Well, they got a cow into my treehouse somehow. Okay. Can I freeze it and then hit it with my yo-yo over and over again? No. Now that's another game, viewers. For mini boss time against Big Acto. Okay, the first thing that I want to do here is take an intentional hit from Big Acto, hit it with my boomerang, then do a jump attack on its weak spot, then take another intentional hit, hit it with my boomerang, and then one more jump attack, and it's dead. Hooray! So yeah, the way you get the quick kill on Big Acto is just taking that intentional damage because that'll immediately cause Big Acto to turn around from your direction, exposing its weak spot. Then yeah, just hit it with the boomerang, do a jump attack, and repeat the process. Let's shoot that cow there to open the door to the next room. Whoa. But yeah, it would be much easier to just use your boomerang like I did in the first quest and not take that intentional damage. But that would also take longer, too. Now, speed runs would actually just skip the fight entirely. Let's see. In this room, let's shoot the cow head. Did I... Get it? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, shooting the cow head there reveals these crates over here. And then, okay, let's uh, stun the two platforms there. And then take the crate over them and get to the other side. Whoa, I thought I was a little off course there with that one. Okay, let's uh, yeah, drop that over there. But yeah, what speedruns would do is from the elevator room, instead of using this platform to get over to the boss room, they would just do a bomb jump from the elevator to get over here. Now you see you got that cow head there? I hit that last time to reveal this chest, so if it's not there, that's why. But yeah, doing this bomb jump is really ultra precise, and I hate bomb jumps. So, yeah, I mean, I probably couldn't even do it if I tried. It's just way too precise for me. Let's see, I want to shoot the left cow head twice there, then shoot the one on the right once. That reveals the last chest of the dungeon. There's a couple like-likes at the bottom here, but I'm not extraordinarily concerned about them. So now, let's climb up here, because there's a gold sculptula for me to kill up here. And it's a little tricky, but I think we can do it. Let's see, right about there. Whoop! Okay, let's try that again. Now, I think I gotta aim a bit lower there. Hmm, okay. Hmm, maybe I gotta get a little closer? Let's see, yeah, this one is really hard to hit with your boomerang because it's the gold sculptula is where that crystal switch was in the first quest but you can't target lock onto it so you gotta do this manually 
Oh, almost. I think I'm close enough, but I just need to get the vertical aim right. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should back off a little bit. Oh, okay, I think I've, I've got the distance right. How did that even miss? It went right through the guy. Yeah, some of those hits. Okay, there we go. There's one. Okay, one more. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that gold sculpture is just really hard to get no matter what you do. Okay, so now with that left cow head, I already hit it twice. Hit it one more time. There we go. And that opens up the boss room. Yeah, I like to wait until I get up here to hit that cow head the third time. Because hitting it from afar, for, or from the start of the room, is rather tricky. So I like to be a bit closer to get my best accuracy. Okay, so let's see. One thing I want to do, let's uh, get those Deku Nuts ready to go there. And I'm going to save here because, well, I want to show off the quick kill against the boss. But it is really, really hard and precise. It'll probably take me like 20 tries to get. So let's give it a shot. Okay, this is attempt number one against Baronade. And the first phase of the fight is identical to any other time when you fight Baronade. You gotta take those three tentacles out that are hooked up to the ceiling there to make Baronade actually vulnerable. For boss time! Okay, so get a target lock on one of the tentacles. Get it with the boomerang. Get another target lock. Get that with your boomerang. Get one more. Okay, now get your boomerang ready. Stun. Hit it with the Deku Nut. Hit it with the boomerang. Then use another Deku Nut. Oh, wow! I can't believe I got that on the first try. The precision with the... What is it? With the boomerang hits is just so tight in order to... Uh, basically, what you need to do is time the boomerang shot and then take an intentional hit here and then yeah you basically just time the boomerang to hit baronade after it becomes vulnerable but before all of those baris spread out and basically make it invincible and then you throw a deku nut while baronade is stunned and because you stun Baronade before the Baris were able to spread out, you can just kill them all at once with a single Deku Nut. And then after the first hit I did there, then you want to back away so you don't get stunned by Baronade. Hit it with your Boomerang again, and then do the same thing. Hit it with a Deku Nut, and you'll kill the other five Baris, and then... For the final part there, all you got to do is just stun it with your boomerang, hit it a couple times with jump attacks, and then, what was it? Yeah, then you take the intentional hit to get it to come out of the ground, and then do that over and over again until it's dead. Hooray! Okay, we got the Zora Sapphire from... Uh, Princess Ruto there. So now, let's see. I need to go... Where are we? Yeah, let's go this way then. And let's see. Let's go to the Fairy's Fountain over here now. Yeah, the thing with the boomerang hits on Baronade is if you do it too soon, it won't be vulnerable. But if you do it too late, the Baris will be able to uh, block your hit and then you'll have to wait for them to slow down in order to get the big hit there. Now, hopefully, I did this part right, where... Uh, well, first, let's, uh... Yeah, play Zelda's Lullaby there. But, yeah, under the silver rock outside the cave 
is another boulder under it. And what I was trying to do was lay my bomb there so that way not only does it blow open the entrance to the Great Fairies Fountain here, but also destroy that normal boulder that's under the silver rock there. I don't even know if that's possible in this version of the game. It might not be because of the way the game handles collision differently than other versions of the game. But I know at least in the Nintendo 64 version, if you lay a bomb like that, even though you can't destroy the silver boulder, you can destroy the other one that's underneath it because the shockwave will still hit it. But yeah, it's... Well, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. I can just wait until I get the silver gauntlets. I'm gonna have to do that anyway. So, but it does save a little bit of time later on. But all right, we got Ferrari's wind there. And now I'm gonna need it to be nighttime. There's a uh, gold sculptula that is by the big tree branch where, well, I skipped over it, but I mean, we were talking to Princess Ruto there. And now I need to uh, get back over there. Whoops. Yeah, I just meant to uh, go over here. Okay, so we got the big tree branch here. Let's see, where is that gold sculpture? Well, I know where it is, but let me see what I can do here. Nope, not good enough. Oh, well. I was hoping that maybe I could hit it with my bomb, but now no, I need it to be a lot closer. <laughs> So, oh well, but yeah, just shoot it, and that's another way you can deal with it. But, okay, so, we're done in Zora's Fountain here. And let's, oh, no, I gotta go, uh, circle around here. Okay, so we got the gold sculpture. There is a heart piece that I would like to get around here that I want. So, let's see, let's get out our Deku sticks there. Honey, I'm home! Okay, so now, let's get our Deku Stick, light it on fire there, and start lighting some of these torches. If I recall correctly, I think there's, what, five of them we need to light up here? Do not fall in the water, or you will regret it. And let's see, okay, there's one over here. Don't worry about rolling in the water, even though you think or you might think that should put out the Deku Stick. It doesn't for some reason, but all right. And let's see, like these two torches and all right, we got it. And for our efforts, we're gonna get another heart piece. Yeah, one of the few heart pieces that we actually get before taking on Dark Link there. But all right, okay, so we're done here. Let's, yeah, get over to Lake Hylia then. Now that we have access to it, there's some stuff that we can do over there. Hopefully it will remain nighttime long enough because there's a gold sculpture on the back of the house that I want to uh, find. Okay, let's see here. I need to... Well, you know what? Let me see. Okay, there's a bridge around here. There we go. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, let's uh, shoot that gold sculpture a couple times. There we go. I wanted to kill the gold sculpture now because, yeah, it's almost daytime again. And if I went over here first... I might not have enough time to kill that gold sculpture without playing the, uh, what was that? The Sun Song again. But let's see. Okay, so let's talk to, uh, Bonoru here. And I want to play a song for him to memorize so that I can use it later as adult. Link. So, yeah, just a simple song. We'll get the job done there. Okay, so now, let's see, I'm going to need some bottles. Because, yeah, we got some uh, bugs around here. Although, if you're playing other versions of the game, you only need the one because you can just duplicate them more easily. You can duplicate them in this version of the game, but it's more, well, it's trickier to do. But I did that in the first quest there. 
Okay, so now we got... What is it? Yeah, we got this soft soil spot, so let's uh, release some bugs into it. What a speed run would like to do here is they would actually pour the bugs into the soft soil there, and then, while it's still nighttime, go around to the other side to kill the gold sculptula that I already did there, and then come back around once the uh, gold sculptula has popped out of there. But, all right, we're done with our business here. Let's see, next place we need to go to is, where is it? It's uh, Lon Lon Ranch there. So let's uh, back our way out of here. Let's see, I should have 19, yes, 19 gold sculptulas there. And it's just a little faster for us to get to Lon Lon Ranch from here. Although, another thing you could do, whoop, that's, <laughs> you could jump off there prematurely. No, no, but uh, you could take the owl from the, well, almost the center of Lake Hylia. And he would take you to Hyrule Castle there, where we need to go to advance the plot. But I don't want to go there just yet. I want to go to Lon Lon Ranch first. Now that we've got the boomerang, we can get all the gold sculptures over there. And let's see. Hmm, I was hoping it would be daytime still by the time I got there. But uh, now it looks like that's not going to be the case. Oh, well, I can play the sun song again. I'm just not as fast and precise as a real speedrun would be. I can do the tricks, I just can't do them nearly as quickly and precisely as a real pro could do here. But yeah, you might remember Malin from before when we were at the, uh, what, well, when we were at Hyrule Market there, and so, is it still daytime, or? Okay, I guess it is still daytime. We can still, uh, play some mini games around here and kill some more gold sculptulas. But can I win some of Malin's milk more quickly than ever before? Find out next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time Master Quest. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!